Hello and welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics to a showcase video and this is for September 2015 and also Big Finish Day 7. And yeah this has to be the biggest showcase video I have done, there's just so much Big Finish to go through, it's going to be an incredible showcase. So I hope you enjoy it. And yeah I will say that Big Finish Day 7 was a really good event, a little bit unorganised in places but still a lot of fun. And who I met was Colin Baker, Michael Jason, Katie Manning, India Fisher, Lisa Greenwood, Matt Fitton, Paul Morris, and there's someone else on the back of my head but I can't remember, it was another writer. So how am I going to structure this showcase video? I'm going to do all the stuff which I didn't get at Big Finish Day 7, and then all the stuff which I did get at Big Finish Day 7. So then, let's begin the video. So then, to start it off, I've only got one DVD, which is... Time in the Rani, so close to completing the classic Doctor Who collection. Paradise Towers, Ace Adventures, and oh, what the devil is it called? Oh, Ghost Light, and that's it. I have seen this before on Daily Motion, it was quite a while ago, and yes, yeah, never to take seriously at all, but I've pretty much forgotten what it is about, the plot, the story, or a member of it is being absolutely silly and clumsy. But yeah, I might like it, it might be a guilty pleasure if I watch it again, who knows. But yeah, I don't think I will call it a classic when I watch it. Yeah, let's get that out of the way and move on to the big stuff, of course, the best part of the video. Everything else is just all big finish. So yeah, starting with the monthly range, I have the release which came out in August, The Warehouse by Mike Tucker. It turned out really good. I really do like Mike Tucker's work. I never had a bad story by him. I love his books as well, his Virgin New Adventures and his BBC books. Yeah, it's a great adventure. Also quite dark in places, it's definitely got the Virgin Territory, the Virgin New Adventures territory in it. Some brilliant energy and brilliant pacing. Part 4 does let it down as I said in my review, but yeah, it's a cracking good story. Next one is from the 4th Doctor Adventures and I've now completed Season 4 with Return to Telos. And yeah, I have listened to this one, I haven't recorded my review of this one yet. But yeah, we were all hoping that this one would just be a cracking story and not get ruined by the hype. As you know, Zygon Hunt, very mixed with fans. So yeah, that's Return to Telos. I think I'm reviewing that in October by my schedule, and I'm not too sure, but I think it's in October. Next ones are actually Companion Chronicles, and I am diving into this range a lot more, as I love the Companion Chronicles now. So yeah, the Companion Chronicles I've got is actually a trilogy, which is the Oliver Harper trilogy, and I got this from the Companion Chronicle sale. And the first one is The Perpetual Bond by Simon, well actually they're all by Simon Guerrier, so that's a really good thing. Yeah, I have listened to this one and I'm not gonna state my opinions on it, because I am gonna be reviewing this trilogy in October. So it'd be nice to get more Companion Chronicle reviews out. And the next two in the trilogy, I might show you these two together, is The Cold Equations and The First Wave. I've heard these two are quite bleak and dark. But yeah, I haven't got up to these in the trilogy yet. I have finished Perpetual Bonds, as I said. And I'm leading into The Cold Equations. And then The First Wave. I've heard so many good things about The First Wave. And also that one, well, the whole trilogy, to be honest. But that one gets really cracking reviews, like 10 out of 10. So I thought, wow. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to listening to those other two and reviewing the trilogy. And for another Companion Chronicle, it is a third Doctor era one which is The Many Deaths of Joe Grant, and it's Kevin Scott and Mark Wright. Really talented writers, you know, the project stories. Some of my favourites, which Big Finish have produced, are by Kevin Scott and Mark Wright, also Masters of Earth. They're just talented writers, and this one does really intrigue me. The trailer sounds really interesting, and also the cover art as well. A really stunning cover art, I have no idea who did it, but yeah, it's really nice, it is. Really nice cover. And for the last thing for September until we get into Big Finish Day 7 stuff, I got Jago and Lightfoot Series 2. Well, oh, I just absolutely love Jago and Lightfoot. I love doing the worlds of Doctor Who, Stage Fright, the Justice of Jauxar. Yeah, I just love them so much. I've got Jago and Lightfoot Series 1, and yeah, now I've got Series 2. And I love the cover, it looks really dark and creepy. But what's quite strange is that the cover arts are really cartoony. So it doesn't really like match what's going on here. And he's actually, I'll just show you one. As you can see, they're quite 
cartoony, so I thought they'd be really dark and gloomy like that. So yeah, the covers, I didn't expect them to be like that. But yeah, of course I'm looking forward to it. I am advancing on Series 1 in the weekends, as I've listened to the Mahogany Murders and then be moving on to Series 1, so very excited. And I am considering reviewing the Jago and Lightfoot series, like Series 1, 2, 3 onwards. That might happen. As it would be nice to review some worlds of Doctor Who. Now to Big Finish Day 7 stuff. The first thing is the Yes Men, Simon Guerrier again. And I have listened to this one, and I have released my... No, actually no, I haven't released my review on it. I've recorded my review of it. Yeah, I was dying for Season 2 of The Early Adventures. I really enjoyed Season 1. It was great, and you know, it's good old second Doctor Patrick Troughton. I was really looking forward to it. The Forsaken is the one I was most iron on and my most anticipated one. But yeah, this one also intrigued me as Simon Gary himself say it's one of his best scripts, or his best scripts, it's even one of the two. I was very intrigued by it and I have listened to it. And my thoughts will be said in the review coming next, I believe. Next one was released not too long ago and it is the Third Doctor Adventures. And I've also got it signed as well by there. Yeah, I am going to be starting Prisoners of the Late today, I am. Yeah, a lot of mixed thoughts on the narration as on the third Doctor Adventures panel. You know, that was the main criticism of it, so they are thinking of removing it. I will say this, I don't mind narration. I actually like narration, and I liked it in the Yes Men as well. I have nothing against it. But yeah, I won't go too much in depth with that. I'll just leave that for the third Doctor Adventures for that review. Not sure when that review will come out. Yeah, check my About section. I think it's coming out in September. Yeah, I am still looking forward to it. Next three releases are fourth Doctor Adventures, and I've almost completed this range now. I only need two more. So that's really good to complete another range. And I have got The Sands of Life and War Against the Larn. And that one is actually a free part, and I think it's the only free part of the fourth Doctor Adventures. So that's quite unique. Yeah, I don't know too much about these two releases. I know they only interlink to each other. I don't know anything else, but I'm still looking forward to them as they've got really good reviews. And in the last Fourth Doctor adventure is Phantoms of the Deep by Jonathan Morris. And yeah, they also had the Dalek contract and the final phase down there, but I ran out of money, so I didn't get them. Yeah, I can easily just snatch them from Amazon and I'm completing the range, that's good. Yeah, I'm still looking forward to this one because it's good old Jonathan Morris, my favourite Big Finish writer. So yeah, it should be good. Next up, we've got another trilogy, which is by Simon Garrier, the Sarah Kingdom trilogy. And I was so stumped of which one to get with the Companion Chronicles, say it was either the Oliver Harper trilogy or the Sarah Kingdom trilogy. But I've seen this at Big Finish Day 7, I wanted it, so I say, why not? Let's pick it up. And yeah, that trilogy consists of Home Trues, The Drowned World, and The Guardian of the Solar System. And here we have Home Trues, which I just hear sensational reviews of. You know, things like 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, all that. I've never seen a negative review on it, and I don't think there is one anywhere. Yeah, I've heard it's really suspenseful and creepy, and I like that sort of stuff, so hating that one is an impossibility. And next one is The Drowned World, which I'm also looking forward to. I haven't seen any reviews on that one, I have no idea what it's about, but I know it follows on from the home truths, of course. Yeah, going in that one blind. And then, Guardian of the Solar System. Which again, I don't know anything about, but it looks like it links to the Dark's Master Plan somehow. As we have the brilliant Marvik Chen. I know Kevin Stoney's not in the audio, it would be brilliant if he was. But yeah, looking forward to that trilogy. My next Companion Chronicle is a special two-disc adventure. I think that was the first one they did, where it's a four-parter. It is The Suffering by Jacqueline Rayner. And I like Jacqueline Rayner's work, like The Marion Conspiracy. I really like the sound of this one, like the trailer. I found it quite creepy, I did. Yeah, I don't know too much about it, but the trailer just really intrigued me. And my final Companion Chronicle is by John Dorney, which starts off an arc, Echoes of Grey. I have no idea what this arc is about, but I know it's post when Zoe was travelling with the Doctor, and it consists of Echoes of Grey, The Memory Cheats, uh, the third one I can't remember, something principal, and Second Chances. So if Echoes of Grey is good, which everyone makes it out to be, 
and I'll get the other stories within the arc. Next up we have a Lost Story, which is the Sixth Doctor one from Season 1 of the Lost Stories, Point of Entry. I was looking around at the Lost Stories, but I was puzzled of which one to get, but I did remember I really liked Point of Entry's trailer, I remember it being really creepy and with a haunted Aztec sword. And it is Mark Platt and he's done some incredible stories, spare parts, The Doctor's Tale, etc etc. So yeah, I was really intrigued by this one. And also a really creepy cover, Alex Madison did a really good job on that cover. And to end off the showcase video, I have got Jago and Lightfoot Series 3. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting to Series 3 as Leela is in the set. Yeah, I can't wait to get to this one as the writers in this set is brilliant. All writers, which I really love. Justin Richards, Matthew Sweet, which I'm very excited about. He's one of the most creative writers ever. I really love the Magic Mousetrap. So much creativity in the script. Yeah, he's writing that one, The Man at the End of the Garden. So yeah, really looking forward to that one. Then John Dorney and Andy Lane. I see some perfect reviews of this one, getting it 10 out of 10 for each of the stories, or 9 out of 10, ranging around there. So yeah, I'm very excited about getting to Series 3. So yeah, I'd be expecting to rate all the stories 9 out of 10 or above. So thank you very much for watching the Showcase Series for September 2015, and also Big Finish Day 7. If you're new to TJ Productions and enjoy collection updates, Big Finish content and classic Doctor Who, then subscribe to TG Productions for all that snazzy stuff. So only one thing to do now is to end the video. So I'll see you in the next one for the review of the Yes Men. So stay tuned for that, goodbye, and have a good one.